Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hard to Find 4 Kaiser because the Indo-Chinese Union. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, we've almost... I can actually deploy... Wait, why can't I deploy you? I don't know, because you don't have any of your equipment ready, but... Like, we are making... We are making games. Maybe. The problem is, like, a lot of these guys are attacking over a river, which is not ideal. The troops near Saigon will fall soon. How are you doing? Is how close do the Dutch East Indies need to get down to zero percent to lose? Because that's what they were when we when we fought with the yeah they need, they need to get down to zero percent. Trying to remember what campaign we were trying to aid them with was it was it the Japanese campaign? It might have been. But I remember them being uh, annoying to try to take over. We have two more divisions here. You know what? We'll stop that attack. Look, like, even then, we lost more manpower. We lost less manpower than they did. And they also lost way more equipment. So what I'm saying... Is that we can easily fight this off better than they can. Yeah, all of you guys just deployed to this front. I know we're not training any troops. Just don't worry about that so much. Get the guns to the field, which is going to take us only 103 days for these guys to be fully reinforced. I know they're green, but I don't think that matters. And Spain joined the race pact. Really bad for the commune. Because how many factories do you guys have now? You have 11 to 15. You're industrializing way faster than we are. Which does provide its own set of challenges. Near the hills. Yeah, we're going to try again. I mean, our defense values are okay. Like, they're actually not that fantastic. I think, like, where else could we maybe push? Because attacking, again, attacking across the river is incredibly dangerous. If we could try to push here. You guys can't do too much. What if you assist in this attack? Because you... You're actually not taking mobile combat penalties. But you're actually still doing poorly, so... That works out well for me. Australia's trying to invade again, but they can't do it. They don't have the strength. They don't have the capacity to... Do anything towards us. Which is nice. How many troops? Do you have four divisions there? I mean, I think we got to try some attacks. Yeah, let's get the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Because you're at 71 strength here. We are over combat width, which is giving us a 16% penalty. If we do this, we can get up to 166. It's going to give us less of a penalty. More of our troops can participate. Again, it would be nice to kill you off. Like, it'd be so, so, so nice to actually push across the river in any major capacity. I know our troops are kind of weak because of um, their low strength. Because I deployed them a little bit too early, but I still think it's fine. Like, I'm not, I'm not concerned about it. I am not even a little bit. Like, now that we defeated the... Um, The Entente forces that were here. Just against Siam. Like, look, these guys are already at half strength. And I haven't really... Honestly, I haven't done that much against them. Because once you're done attacking me, we're going to counterattack basically with everything we have here. Because you're almost dead. And we've almost pushed. You push here. Get that strength up. We're at 91... One of you guys hold this province, and we're going to bust our way through. That's right, 92 strength here. Uh, purple line, I want you to be across the river here. These areas do connect. So, you know what, you're all going to push this direction. And red army? 
you guys push in like this. You really warn like I, you're really warning me for a single division trying to invade us. That's like barely even an issue. I think. Do you think we can attack into the jungle? The thirty percent penalty. You're also thirty percent. But we can do significantly better attacking like this. And by the way, can I just say I love that we are making military progress. And I don't know if we are. We actually to push in here. Nice. I don't know if we are outproducing. Well, we can't actually be, be outproducing the the Siamese. The problem is like the AI is not actually a problem. But what I'm imagining is I don't think the AI is actually prioritizing things correctly. So Siamese is probably like focusing some of their military factories on building like navies and stuff. Whereas I am focusing. 100% on just the land uh, battle. Is that the best strategy? Uh, not not uh, entirely, for sure. But it still is going to work. Missing, uh, missing A3 equipment on you. That's fine. We're going to get this push in. Which again will allow us to open up this front line a little bit. Okay, so we've made some progress. Split in half, split in half, do something like this. You're gonna reinforce that battle. Until I do this, and now you're not. And maybe we can actually get us around here. I know you're trying to reinforce. But I think we will make the uh We'll get the river push here that we need. Do not reinforce that battle. You guys assist here. 46 against you. Like, maybe go you guys just need a whole position for now. Because, I mean, we are... This is progress. For sure. For sure. But 62 against you. You're a marine, so you basically have, like, no actual strength. So we'll see if we can actually get progress done there. Okay, so do something like this. You guys are looking pretty weak. So I still like to push our way into the jungle here. And how many men do you guys have? You still have probably around twice the amount of troops. But twice the amount of the troops with uh, half the strength basically means that we're about equal. Next, you did reinforce this, unfortunately. You help out with this assault. You help out this out, uh, assault as well. I would have liked this around. Like, that would have been... Uh, best case situation. I think the Dutchies and these are kind of knocked out of being a major player so far. But I do greatly appreciate. And I guess we'll train up like 10 of these divisions. But reinforcements are going to take top priority for now. Because being able to stack this up to a full 24 stack would be nice. Like again, are we? I can't, like even when we attack, we don't really lose more. At least not that much more. So attacking's kind of working out for us. Did you get the people's army? What's the next step here? We'll definitely get it. Get the next level of rifle as well. Australia, I appreciate uh, their attempts at uh, making some progress. Extra 52. I mean, you are a nice victory point. It would be nice to have. But it's really hard for us to... Like, if... Burma were to join the war with the backing of the the Indians here It would be beautiful like we would steamroll Siam 
But unfortunately, they're still pretty far away from Delhi. Like, they are winning. Hyperbat, I really thought you were going to uh, make some good progress here, but unfortunately, that does not seem to be the case. Russia's going to lose. 100%. I got 72 over here. I mean, Bangkok. It's worth 15. 3, 1. And there's a lot of territory we do need to take. And again, we really can't do naval invasions because we just don't have the... We don't really have the capacity to do something like that. Which is a shame. We definitely are going to take that province. I don't think anybody's going to like contest us for it anymore. Can you connect here? No. I mean, we have like a one stack there. Let's try to take the province from them. And okay, now you're at 62. Entrenchment's 25. Like, they have, they have good entrenchment. Which really sucks. And, like, war propaganda doesn't do anything except for giving us war support. Which is nice a lot of the time. It's just not nice right now. How long for this battle to go on? 26 days. Like, I don't think that's going to get us anywhere. How about you go here? Help assist in that battle. Like we could pull troops off of the off the ports. But I do definitely think that it's risky. Okay, so I am. You're at half a million dead. I'm at 144. You only have like a few thousand manpower left. I did see that you have gone up to extent to conscription, so you are going to get a little bit more. But honestly... The fact that Dutch Indies only killed 300 men... They killed 300, while I killed 42,000... Is amazing. Like, that's... You're counterattacking us? I think that's just good. Because we're winning all the defensive battles. And it's like, if you want to counterattack us, then so be it. We will hold off all you guys for now to hold that province. How many guys do we need for reinforcements, by the way? 4,000 guns. At... How much are we producing a day? It's, it's about a year away. But that's including all the infantry that we were trying to train up. At 86. I don't believe we're going to lose any of these defensive battles. Maybe you. Yeah, you can try to get up there, but I don't think it's going to work out so well for you. I think we're going to lose this province, which really, really sucks. Because, you know, we, we fought so hard for it. Can you actually push here? No, you can only push in this province. At least give them a multiple combat modifier, which really, really helps us out. We're actually going to push in here as well, which is really nice. So immediately counterattack into all three of these provinces. Got the Ho Chi Minh Rail, which is a supply or division recovery rate going up. We did not break down the gender, uh, gender division, unfortunately. We could go for the police state, but I don't think that matters too much. I mean, the stability, you know what? We go towards the stability. Because if we want to attack you, like, we want to attack across the river. For sure. How are you going to lose? We need you guys to reinforce. Okay. 43, 40, 14, 15, 23. Uh, 
Like, again, manpower's not an issue. We don't need a war economy. We'll get the tank manufacturers, because I really don't know if there's really too much else we can even do with our uh, political power. And once you're here, you might as well attack into this guy as well. Because we are... We're taking provinces, for sure. Not enough to really make a massive difference here. Look at your organization. Your organization is so low that it's... It's just ripe to be counterattacked. But we do need... We do need, um... The Siamese to stop attacking us for at least a little bit. A little bit of respite would be nice here. Because you're not trying to do anything, no. You're just defending. Like, you guys are moving along. I'm th like, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Because, again, bigger front line is nice. You hold position for now. You move back up here. If we get this guy dead and we get the surround on these two divisions, that would be nice as well. We're immediately going to counterattack into you because you're pretty weak. We're going to open up the, the front line here a little bit. Complete push through this guy. Because our strength is low, organization is low. Should hopefully be able to get the victory there. I think most of the troops we're trying to reinforce are these... Uh... Oh, we actually pushing into here as well. Okay, we're actually... We're definitely doing better than I would have, uh... Oh, you're, you're just like, ah, we're not going to attack the Saigon. We're just going to attack the province next to Saigon. I don't think that's going to help you out, but that's okay. This is this is good. This is for sure progress. I'm trying to think. 63. You're close to taking that. We'll push into here just because. Seventy-seven, twelve, seven. I mean, you, you're not giving them multiple combat penalties, which sucks. The Soros of War. Yeah, I, what am I going to do with this political power? Ban the counter-revolutionary textbooks. You're at eighty-eight. You're so close to being killed right now. Get more troops across the river. It's so good for us. Because again, getting across the river is. To me, at least, what will create... Oh, you actually got the surround on this guy, too. That is beautiful. Because you're doing good. These guys are going to have, like, no organization sooner rather than later. Counterattacking these guys. You both push into here. So, yeah, you did land here, Australia. But you do know that's probably just going to get you completely killed. But I appreciate your tenacity regardless. Yeah, you hold position there. It took us a while. I know you are... We were surrounded, which is going to give you a negative 30-30 penalty. Serbia has capitulated. I think Bulgaria is, yeah, it's getting a lot of land. Russia is very dead. The Internationale is very dead. We just got to kill Siam and then help Bahardia defeat the Dominion. And... Then we should be good. I guess Japan is, is still... Japan is still this ever-looming threat. That hangs over all of our heads. For 85 or 87. Like, you're still holding on. You're not getting much done. You are going to leave, though. So you're going to push in this direction. Is there anything you can do? I don't really think so. Anybody who's on this front is on this front. You just help attack into this. And again, look at this. This is another front line. So you have six divisions here. If you're in this front... Who else is actually assigned to this? Why are you assigned to that front? That doesn't make any sense. You're both here... And you're all attacking this. I guess one of you stays back here. This is actually 
Again, like I said, it's it, it just you just got to get across once, and it slowly starts from there. We, we push through another province, which is fantastic. We'll hold this province for a little bit longer. And we've done it, which means we immediately counterattack into you. One of you helps and assist this battle. So we're about to fight this as well. You assist in this attack. You can't do much. This is dead. These guys are going to be killed sooner rather than later. We guys should probably maybe march straight to the uh, the Burmese border. And you are going to go to that front. That is fantastic. You go and assist in this battle. Again, like you have no manpower, and I have a, I have almost a million. I got a feeling like I know how this uh, war is going to end. You go to here. Let's take over this. You're trying to send more troops in this uh, direction. You just go kill that Australian. Like, he shouldn't have been here in the first place, so... That's completely his fault. How are you still alive? I know your defense values are pretty good, but still, how are you still alive? I just want you to die. So you're sending another troop to try to kill me. It's not going to work. Like, we'll just stay on the defensive here. Like, that's fine. And just more rifles. More rifles for me. Please and thank you. This area should fall soon. You can maybe actually get this killed as well. Okay, we are going to have to fall back slightly, which sucks. But that's okay. You actually last stand. I really don't want this problem to be lost. Okay, Petrograd has fallen. Yeah, Russia is dead. There's no doubt about that. And as soon as you reach this province, then we go over to here, surround these two divisions. And it does get us closer to victory. And okay, we got another victory here. Hold on for as long as you possibly can, my friends. You're at 67. You're at 70. Okay, now that you're here, we can start moving our troops over. Why are you having attrition problems? Is it just the... Uh, it's probably just the terrain. Let's even actually get a surround on these guys. Like, I would like to send more troops in that direction. You know, let's hold... Hold your ground for now. No, okay, no, we have to at least attack here to make sure they don't reinforce. You should hopefully now be in multiple combat. Some of you are. Fantastic. Like, that attack's not going to work. We have lost ground, and they've lost the surrounds. That is a problem for us. You'll be there in three days. You come here, get that surround. Burma! Really wish you would have been involved in the war a little bit. But I do think that right now, this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy, you can always thumb down. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.